As humans, we share the earth with an estimated 8.7 million species, but often humans disregard the suffering of the other 7,999,000 species who inhibit our earth alongside us. This is known as speciesism, where the actions that we take as the human race leads to the abuse of animals. All 8.7 million species on this planet can be classified as earthlings. Our suffering described by the principle of equality as being no different to the suffering of any other species. Therefore, there can be no rationalization of refusing to consider the suffering of another species. In the case of humankind, this means there is no rationalization of ignoring the suffering inflicted on animals, which more often than not is carried out by our own race. Society is sold a lie. As consumers, one of our main faults is believing the label on food packaging. Marketers are able to string together the right choice of words to put focus where they want it. For example, phrases such as farm fresh, 100% natural, family farm and butcher's choice leave people with positive feelings about the product they are about to purchase. The very nature of this marketing and consumer relationship is based on a lie. For in reality, animals are not happy down on the farm. Food packaging leads to people b believing that their meat or dairy products have come from happy animals in good living conditions. Cunning marketing makes the public feel comfortable with what information they're receiving. This information is far from the truth. Marketing uses concepts such as innovation and progress to make people feel better about the products they buy. For example, Moving pigs from muddy paddocks and into clean barns allows people to believe that this is a positive change because it takes the pigs away from mud and disease. However, the effects are greatly negative on the animals. In the case of pigs in New Zealand, methods such as the farrowing crate and the dry sow stall are used. These crates do not allow enough space for a pig to move, turn around or exercise at all. This leaves the pigs prone to heart, lung, urinary and digestive diseases, as well as chronic joint disorders and lameness. Pigs confined also suffer from depression, boredom and apathy, the severe stress causing unnatural behaviours and suffering. Piglets are separated from their mothers, spending their short lives in dark cramped conditions, rather than playing, digging and roaming like they naturally would in outdoor environments. This type of life is the case for over 800,000 pigs slaughtered in New Zealand factory farms each year for their meat. Do you see this information on the label? This is not just isolated to pigs. Animals such as chickens, hens, sheep, cows are also factory farms. Factory farming is a system of rearing livestock using highly intensive methods by which poultry, pigs or cattle are confined indoors under strictly controlled conditions. Uncountable acts of cruelty have been undertaken during the processes that occur during factory farming. Animals suffer both mentally and physically. Their most natural behaviour is unable to be expressed due to the lack of movement, freedom and space. These animals live their whole lives in horrible conditions before being slaughtered after being alive for only a short part of their natural life expectancies. Each year, 90 million chickens are slaughtered for their meat and 3 million are kept in cages for their eggs. Many people read free range on a label and believe that there is no cruelty in producing their eggs. This is a myth as free range chickens still suffer. There are no official industry standards about outdoor areas. These free range chickens are being killed at six weeks. Therefore, they get minimal or no time outside in their short life. Just because a label says cage free doesn't mean the chicken is outdoors living a cruelty free life. Dairy farming confines cows to small cubicles, continuously impregnating them so that they produce milk for the industry. They are made to stay confined indoors for 10 months of the year, their calves being ripped away from them. Do you associate your morning coffee with the painful injury, infection and behavioural problems that are incurred on these cows? Probably not. It's time to open our eyes. As humans, we recognise that animals are capable of suffering, which is clearly seen in the huge vet bills people pay for their companions. This begs the question, why do we look after only selected animals and ignore the inhumane mass slaughter of others? This systematic cruelty works because people are prepared to look the other way. The power of willful ignorance cannot be overstated. As consumers, as humans, as earthlings, it is our responsibility to stop animal cruelty and the system in which we all play a part. We must speak up for the animals who do not have a voice. As the 
society, we are sold a lie. It is time to put vegetarian values into practice. It is time to start reading labels and choosing cruelty-free options. These animals are not happy down on the farm. The cruelty of factory farming cannot be overstated. So speak up, raise awareness, raise your voice and say something.